I think that anybody that was watching that game, hopefully a lot of people did watch that game, I think that it was a fantastic display of rugby on both sides. I think that's the kind of thing that we are, we, we want in our league, and that's, you know, the bigger picture really is to show the country that women can play this game and we can play this game well. And I thought we really delivered on that product on both sides. Questions for Coach Charles? Thank you. What was going on in your head in the last few minutes of that game? What wasn't? I felt like I played a rugby game after I was done. Uh, just, just ball management and just thinking about you know everything that they have been working for and the visualization that we've done this week has really just focused a lot on what our last plays look like and if we're breaking lines and if, if at the end of the game if that last five seconds what is it are you jumping into the arms of your teammate or are you are you shaking hands with the other team because you lost and we visualized those moments and those are the moments that we delivered today it was pretty awesome. Becky, you're no stranger, your team's no stranger to Central Washington. Did they do anything different or um, unexpected today? You know, Central did a fantastic job moving the ball off the 10, and it stifled our insides and our outsides quite a bit, and they did the right stuff in the beginning of the game, and we just had to answer back and tighten up at, at halftime, and that's the adjustment that we had to make. But uh, no real surprises. Uh, they're quick, uh, and you know, it definitely shows why they're in the semifinals. Hey, you were the last game to do uh, big kicks of that. You had a special moment with her afterward. How important has she been to this team? She's been fantastic, and I know that we took we took a, a little bit of criticism in the beginning, as we should have, because our kicking game was not on. And you know, Maggie Wazalowski was not the intended kicker. It was Riley Saunders, and Riley Saunders went down in the Dartmouth game and hadn't been back since. And and and. Weza was the go-to, and she stepped up to it and said, Coach, I know I'm not the best option right now, but I will be, and I promise you I'll deliver on those big points. And you saw her do that today. So there's nothing better than seeing an athlete from, from and that, that right side is actually her, her favorite side. So I said a couple times on the sideline when she had to put those two points in it, it just barely fell over there. I was like, this is your favorite side, and you saw she had the wind against her. But she took a deep breath, and the things that we talk about in practice, and, and I think I talked to you a couple weeks ago about this and said, when we were practicing, I said, Maggie, there's going to be a moment when you're going to have to make the difference between us winning and losing. And she put us ahead with those two points. It's, it's huge. She's amazing. Speaking of kicking, can you just talk about the decision to go for three there at the end of the game? You know, once we knew that we were, it, we had the opportunity to, to be two scores ahead, we said, why not take it? And we believe in our kicker, and just as we just talked about, and we knew that, uh, that, that Maggie could could deliver on that and even though she missed that kick it was slowing the game down in the pace and it wasn't it wasn't requiring us to go into too much contact and it was it, it was a it was a safer option for us but as you can see we definitely weren't playing safe at the end when we put that many points on the board in that little amount of time I mean we were just going for it so why not slow it slow the pace down a little bit that was our choice. One more puts you guys on the board first and then has a huge insurance try at the end. How big of a difference maker is she in these types of games? Who is it? Alona Mark. Elon how big is a difference maker? Uh, I don't know. I feel like the NFL sometimes should be looking at Ilona Mar, but she is she's she's steady. She's sturdy. Uh, you want the ball in her hands, absolutely, to to make those big finishes. But more more so, I think that when the opposition lines up against Ilona, everybody's looking at her, and so I think that that opposition lining up against Ilona and being more concerned about her is what opened the holes up today for Mika. We ran a 13, we called a 13 cheddar, we ran it on the inside and it was cheddar all day. And Mika just delivered and I Ilona was there. But if Mika doesn't take those tries, if, if people aren't looking at Ilona and expecting Ilona to make some big plays, but she's just, she's absolutely phenomenal. She's, she's unstoppable and she's incredibly talented and we're just, we're so lucky to have her.